I'm running because everyday Americans deserve to be represented by everyday Americans. It's not a coincidence that um, when you look at Congress and, and you might see in a picture that it's primarily white and male and older, it's also wealthier. <laughs> and that has so much to do with our campaign finance system. He's going to tell me I'm small, that I'm young, that I'm inexperienced. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was working in restaurants. Of Cori Bush was a nurse. Paula Jean Swearingen is a coal miner's daughter. Amy Valella was an executive, but she had worked her way up from poverty to that place. Each of them was the type of person who isn't supposed to run for office. And the only way it's possible for people like that to run for office and to open a space so that regular working people can have representation in our federal government is to run these types of grassroots campaigns. If I was a rational person, I would have dropped out of this race a long time ago. People are going to underestimate you. People are going to attack you on social media and in the press, and sometimes in person. So what you have to do is have a story about yourself and your reasons for running that is good enough and strong enough to inspire legions of people to get behind you, to really motivate groups of volunteers to knock on those doors, to make those phone calls, to have those conversations on doorsteps. It's not about left or right or Democrat versus Republican. It's about up and down. It's about the party establishment and people who have been in power for a long time versus communities who feel they don't have a voice and they do deserve one.